Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So God wants me to talk about the great and abominable church, right? And to read some scriptures from Doctrine and Covenants and from the King James Bible. So we're going to get into it. Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 29, verse 14. But behold, I say unto you that before this great day shall come, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall be turned into blood and the stars shall fall from heaven. And there shall be greater signs in heaven above and in the earth beneath. And there shall be weeping and wailing among the hosts of men. And there shall be a great hailstorm sent forth to destroy the crops of the earth. And it shall come to pass because of the wickedness of the world. And I will take vengeance upon the wicked, for they will not repent. For the, for the cup of my indignation is full. For behold, my blood shall not cleanse them if they hear me not. Wherefore, I, the Lord God, will send forth flies upon the face of the earth, which shall take hold of the inhabitants thereof, and shall eat their flesh, and shall cause maggots to come upon them. And their tongues shall be stayed, that they shall not utter against me. So, like, the people who are blat saying evil stuff against God, and that's what's going to happen to them. And their tongues shall be stayed, that they shall not utter against me, and their flesh shall fall from off their bones, and their eyes from their sockets. And it shall come to pass that the beasts of the forest and the fowls of the air shall devour them up. And the great and abominable church, which is the whore of all the earth, shall be cast down by devouring fire, according as it is spoken by the mouth of Ezekiel the prophet, who spoke of these things which have not come to pass but surely must as i live for abominations shall not reign so this is what he wants me to speak about um the whore the abominable church which is the whore of all the earth um obviously you know that's babylon if you um go to other videos about babylon and the city of confusion it'll all come together right so he wants you to know um, about the 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 abominable church, and that it persecutes the saints of God, right? And um, yeah, so I'm gonna read it. And that great pit, which has been digged for them by the great and abominable church, was which was found by the devil and his children that he might lead away the souls of men down to hell. Yeah, that great pit which has been digged for the destruction of men shall be filled by those who digged it unto their utter destruction, says the Lamb of God. So, and um, he wants you to know about the, the this, this, this church, the great and abominable church, like the world, the state it's in, that they follow the ways of Babylon. And it came to pass that I beheld this great and abominable church, and I saw the devil that was the founder of it. And I also saw gold and silver and silks and scarlets and fine twined linen and all manner of precious clothings. And I saw many whorelets. You know, the whore of all the earth. You get it? The great whore. Revelation. It's a lifestyle too. It's a... It's... It, the great whore you guys follow they follow the philosophies of babylon they do the church of babylon the ways of satan the worlds you know so he's saying the gold the silver the silks the scarlet fine twine linen and all manner of precious clothing and i saw many whorelets and the angel spake unto me saying behold the gold and the silver and the silks and the scarlet and the fine twine linen and the precious clothing and the whorelets are the desires of this great and abominable church this is what God's coming to destroy, this 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 lifestyle. And which country promotes this lifestyle? And at, and also for the praise of the world do they destroy the saints of God. So it's saying these people who are, these people are the ones who are destroying the saints of God and bring them down into captivity. And it came to pass as I look, behold many waters, and they divided the Gentiles from the seed of my brethren. And it came to pass, the angel said to me, Behold, the wrath of God is upon the seed of thy brethren. So what he's saying, this is the lifestyle of the, 
the whore of Babylon, the the great and abominable church, and to read some more about it, like there's different scriptures speaking about this great and abominable church, and then that they dig the pit for the saints of God, but they're gonna fall into it. So in one Nephi fourteen and three, and that great pit which has been dig for them by the great and abominable church which was found by the devil and his children that he might lead away the souls of men down to hell yeah that great pit which he which has been digged for the destruction of men shall be filled by those who digged it onto their destruction says the lamb of god so and then there's other scriptures talking about this this church now one to this great and abominable church of the whore so it's the ch the false church the church of devils the church of whore it's the church of the whore the whore in revelation and every the daughter of babylon and every nation which shall war against thee o house of israel shall be turned one against another and they shall fall into the pit which they dig to ensnare the people of the lord and all that fight against zion shall be destroyed and that that great whore who has perverted the right ways of the Lord. Yeah, that great and abominable church shall tumble. Sorry, let me get to, oh yeah. That great and abominable church shall tumble to the dust and great shall be the fall of it. So you, the holy church, Zion, the abominable church of the great whore, Babylon. You get it? So it's two churches, two kingdoms that are fighting against each other. Now, one Nephi twenty-two and thirteen, and the blood of that great and abominable church, which is the whore of all the earth, shall turn up their own heads, for they shall war amongst themselves, and the sword of their own hands shall fall upon their own heads, and they shall be drunken with their own blood. And blessed are the Gentiles, they of whom the prophet has written, for behold, if it is be so that they shall repent and fight not against Zion, the woman, the holy church, and the right ways of God, and do not unite themselves to that great and abominable church, they shall be saved. For the Lord God will fulfill his covenant which he has made unto his children. And for this cause, the prophet has written these things. So... It's two kingdoms fighting against a holy kingdom, the daughter of Zion, and then the unholy, the daughter of Babylon, the whore of all the earth. So it tells you that this great and abominable church persecutes the saints of God. And also in Doctrine and Covenants 88 and 94, and another angel shall sound his trump saying, that great church, the mother of abominations, where is that, the mother of abominations? The lady in Revelation, she had a crown. Mystery whore, the whorelet. It's talking, it's two kingdoms, two women, two churches, two lifestyles, two different. You understand how God does metaphors and does things. But they're actually people they, amen, that made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, that persecutes the saints of God, that shed their blood. She who sits upon many waters and upon the isles of the sea. Behold, she is the tears of the earth. She is bound by bundles. Give me, yeah. She is, oh, behold, she is the tears of the earth. She is bound in bundles. Her bands are made strong. No man can loose them, therefore she is ready to be burned. And he shall sound his trump, both long and loud, and all nations shall hear it. And there shall be silence in heaven for the space of half an hour and immediately after shall the curtain of heaven be unfolded and the scroll is unfolded after it shall be rolled up and the face of the Lord shall be unveiled so there's two churches one of Satan but metaphors you know the daughter of Zion and the daughter of Babylon there's a lot that's happening but God wants you to understand the church of the great the great and abominable church and it's judgment and that it's gonna fall to the ground and they persecute the saints of God and they dig pits for the saints of God. But the pit that they dig, they're going to fall in it. And and it came to pass, I behold the great and abominable church 
and I saw the devil, he was the founder of it. And you understand it's about gold and silver and silks and precious things and many whorlets. And the wrath of God will be poured out on the great and abominable church. And when the day comes that the wrath of God is poured out upon the mother of whorlets, which is the great and abominable church of all the earth, whose founder is the devil, then at that day the work of the Lord shall compense in preparing the way of the fulfilling of his covenant, which he has made to his people who are the house of Israel. All right, so, um, yeah, God wanted me to talk about that great and abominable church and the horror you understand so if you when you read revelations you know what that's talking about for true and righteous are his judgments for he has judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornications and he avenged the blood of his servants at her hand yeah because what does it say that great and abominable church takes um does what to the saints great and abominable church digs pits for the saints great and abominable church is mother of abominations same person that's talked about in revelation and in isaiah so yeah um stay blessed beautiful people take this up with fasting take care love you all